This is what a big avenue in Mexico City looks like on a regular Monday. And here is the same street on Sunday. There are no cars allowed in downtown Mexico City one day a week. Instead, it's a relaxing picnic atmosphere. This is what Mexico City looks like now on Sundays. 24 kilometers of streets dedicated to bikes, rollers, the opportunity for the city to take a deep breath. And remember, Mexico City was once the most polluted city in the world during the 1990s. I wish it were the same every day, not just on Sundays. Nowadays, it's still a 22 million people monster set in a basin at 2,200 meters. Even when the wind blows, it doesn't clean the air. Daily traffic jams poison the view. The authorities have ambitiously attacked the problem with bike rental stations, corridors dedicated to metro buses and new subway lines. But are these efforts useful when the population here has never stopped growing? These antennas could have the answer. There are 34 antennas in the city collecting data to measure the air quality. All the information is transferred here to this center where the atmosphere has been monitored for more than 20 years. These stations measure the urban contaminants such as sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, and of course ozone. The ozone levels in Mexico City have been measured here since 1986. The purple areas show the most toxic days in yellow and green, the days when the air quality is satisfactory. These last years, you can see that there are no more violet dots. Nevertheless, half the days of the year are still above the standards of health protection. The anti-pollution measures have provided good results. Still, global warming has hit the city. The temperature in the Mexico City Valley is four degrees warmer than it was a century ago.